Today I'm here with Robbie, Seb and Kath and we're here to find out a little bit about Yvonne's story. Kath, can you tell us a bit more about why Yvonne deserves such a huge thank you? From the minute the whole lockdown happened, people were told to self-isolate. Yvonne wasn't just thinking about herself and how it would affect her. She was thinking about Dalston, where we live, you know, the, the full community. And, and straight away, this buddy system was put into place. Um, she had flyers being handed out throughout the whole of the village um, so that the minute lockdown happened, there was nobody that was going to be left, basically. There was a lot of people there, but she managed to coordinate it herself. Fantastic. Seb, do you want to go and grab Eve? And we'll see. I will go and grab Eve, We'll yes. see what she reacts like. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello, Yvonne. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Bell. Hello. Who is that? Robbie D. <laughs> Oh, I didn't recognise you with your glasses on. You didn't recognise me with glasses. You didn't recognise me with my clothes on. I thought you were going to say for me. I'd have recognised you. Easy, easy. Hey, Yvonne. Um, on behalf of the Cumberland and us here at CFM, we wanted to say uh, thank you for being such a lovely, incredible, nice human being. Um, you've been nominated for one of our 100 thank yous. In fact, we're going to do the presentation in just a moment. Um, but it's for you. It's a plaque and something you can remember um, for being an incredibly nice human being and going that extra mile. I know in Dorston, where you live, you've been helping so many people in the community. And, uh, well, your friend Kath has nominated you. Uh, your husband Seb's in on this as well. And um, we just wanted to, all of us say thank you to you for being such an incredibly nice person. She's speechless. She's speechless. That works really well on the radio. So, so tell us, um, what, what's your inspiration, and Yvonne? Why, why, why do you do all these things? With living in the village for so long and and being part of the community, it's nice to give something back to the community and the people that are struggling and vulnerable or need help. But it, you know, we just try to do as much as we can. So this was a good idea. So off we off. I tried to do it, and it took off really well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at you now. You've got one of these, what I would term a kind face. There's just something about you and your aura. You just, uh, you obviously do a lot of nice things for a lot of people. And I'm thinking not just in the current situation with COVID-19. I'm reckoning probably every day you're one of those people who goes out to help others. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, of course I would. Of course I do, yeah. Your husband, Seb, has a little momentum to present you with, which uh, he's going to do right now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, how about that? Fantastic. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Oh, Kath, thank you so much. Oh, you so deserve it, Tom. Thank you. Oh, that's lovely. A reminder that next Monday, it's our final uh, thank you. There are 100 people who are being thanked by the Cumberland and CFM, but we can only feature a certain number of them. But um, they, there's a lot of lovely people. And I think it's, I think it's testament to the place where we live, Cumbria, um, where there are so many nice people and we live in communities of course as we know and just incredible amount of lovely people and it's it's that's why it makes it the greatest place on earth to live as far as I'm concerned and um, if you'd like to nominate somebody not too late we've got one week to go as I say go to cfmradio.co.uk nominate that person they may feature next week Yvonne thank you thank you Yvonne. thank you oh thanks guys so <laughs> kind